Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to continue working on our course. And we're going to um, finish up here pretty much in that we're going to show how people can get enrolled into the course. There are multiple different ways that this can happen. But once they do become enrolled, let me see if I can click on this here. Yeah, right now I don't have anybody that's showing enrolled in here because, of course, I have not gotten anybody enrolled. But in order to get them enrolled, as I said in an earlier video, the first thing we have to do is to turn or to make the course public and then also at least one module and one lesson inside that module also have to be public. So let's just make everything public here real quick and we'll just turn everything on immediately and we'll just bang through this real quick and then up at the top of the page we can come up here and we can click on there for publish as well and now this course is published and if we come back out to the main course page we can see that our course path our success path course is now published so we should be able to see it if we are enrolled. So a couple different things we can do here to get somebody enrolled is the first thing we can come over and we can create a contact for an individual. So we're gonna come in here and create a contact and I already have my default contact right there. And let's see here, if we click on this, we can come over, we can come to our enrollments and we can say we have our success path. And so I think we have to click on manage enrollments yeah, and then let me see here, add enrollments. It's been a little bit since I've been in here. So let's turn on both of these so we see both of them when we get into our customer center page. So let us save that. Now, if uh, you have an individual, of course, you want to put in here. Let's go back up here. Let me see here, all contacts. Okay, so we can add a contact here as well. So we'll add, manually add a contact and I will just put in my email address and my first name and my last name is not Dan, I don't think it might be, what do I know? And so then we will create this contact as well. Just in case I'm not able to get in as my default, then I can log in as uh, with my email address. And then again, here we will go enrollments, manage enrollments, and then apparently we go add enrollments and we go click, click, save that. And now I should be enrolled in that course as well. So that's one way you can get somebody enrolled into a course. Another way is if they purchase a product. So let's go into a product and success paths first product, which I did not put that in here. This must have populated itself. And so in here somewhere we can say, okay, here we go course access. There we go. We'll give myself, um, or, or if somebody purchases this product, they will get access to both of these courses. So again, you set up a product inside of a funnel. If they purchase it, then they will automatically get access to these two courses right here. And then a third way we can give somebody access is in a funnel itself. Let me see if I have any funnels in this account. I do not. Let me go into a different account real quickly just to show you how to do this. And there's going to be more on this as we talk about products, as we talk about follow-up funnels. There will be more in-depth training on this. I just wanted to show you a couple different ways that somebody could get enrolled. So let's go to a new funnel. And then inside of the funnel, inside of the follow-up funnels, apparently I don't have anything in here. We'll put in a new page, drop in that one, create the page, must have a name, close enough. We'll just do this real quickly. Okay, so in the follow-up funnel, you can say that if somebody opts into this step, and so we'll say opt in. So somebody opts in, somebody lands on the page, somebody takes some sort of an action. What you can do then is our workflow trigger. So in this case here, we'll say they opted in. So we'll turn that on. And we already had that one turned on. So we will add the trigger and select uh, type again. Do this. Okay. Oh, I added a trigger. So, okay, let's close it now. And somewhere in here, okay, I'm not finding it. I know, here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here. And again, there'll be more in-depth training on this. I'm sorry, this got all messed up. Um, but you can come down here, just click on Enroll. So you can say, okay, so they opted into this funnel. First step you want them to do 
is to, you might send them an email at first, then the second step, you're going to say, okay, we're going to enroll you into this course. And of course, my course names are different because I'm in a different funnel. So you just say, we're going to enroll you in there. So all somebody had to do was opt in somewhere, they automatically get enrolled into the course. So now let's go back to the other funnel that we were currently in before this, the other course. So we're in the success path. We are in our courses and let's go to our success path course. And now let's see if I show up here. Yep. Here we are under the enrollments It's showing me. It's not showing my, um, my other contact in there, which is just one that they populate in there for you. So we got that. So now let's see if we preview this, if we're going to be able to see everything we want to see here we are. So this is our success path. This is our course homepage, our success path course right there. Now in this case here, this is our, uh, course home page. And we have our two modules inside of here. If we click on this, we should see the one lesson that we put in. So here is our one lesson. So here is our module page right there. And so now we will click on the lesson and here is the lesson that we, or the video, I should say that we actually uploaded into there. And here was where we were messing around with the dynamic content at the bottom where I dropped in the, um, the sidebar element right there as well. So everything seems to be working. We got our breadcrumbs here at the top. We can go back to our module page. We can go back to our success path course page. The only thing we have not seen is our customer center page. So let me see if I click here and click there. Let's see if we get to the customer center page. Nope. That's not where we're bringing me to. Let's click on this one. Here we are. So here we are on our customer center page. We have our two courses, our demo nested course and our success path course. And let's see what happens when we click on this. We go into our module A1 and B1. And you know, this is the one where we have the multi tiers in there. And so won't go any deeper into there. We see now that all of them are working. The customer center is working, the courses, the module, the lesson pages, everything's working. And that video that we uploaded that uh, went in there as well into our first lesson. So it looks like we were successful. We got everything to work out, had a few uh, bumps along the way. Let me just click on it here, see if it actually plays. Yep, it actually plays. This is a video that was earlier in the training. And so there we go. I'm looking at my notes again here real quick. I think that is it for this lesson. So I'll drop in probably one more lesson after this where I'm going to look at uh, just kind of going back into the lesson and maybe a couple other places, but definitely in the lesson and just kind of building out something, pretty much stripping everything out and just building something using that dynamic uh, element on the page. So until then, if you got any questions, just let me know.